guys, welcome back to a brand new video. I'm Rex Finance and today I'm excited to be uploading a new video, not only because I'm talking about a new company that I just purchased, but also because I've been somewhat inconsistent with my uploads as I end this fall semester in college. But the good news for you guys and me is I get a two month long winter break. So from Thanksgiving all the way till like January 22nd, I am off and on break. And you can expect me to be hitting the YouTube channel, the stock market, investing, the videos, everything is going to be coming flying your way over that two month break. And I cannot wait. So anyway, back to the subject at hand. I bought a new company for the first time last Friday since I bought Flux Power. Now, I bought Flux Power around two months ago, and I'm never a YouTuber that makes new content or invests in new stocks because it's in demand. I always stick with companies or investments that I am extremely confident in, and if I don't see any new companies or new stocks that pique my interest, I'm not investing in them for the blind hope that I get views on the video. So, the stock I bought last Friday adds to my clean energy exposure in my Robinhood portfolio. Now, it's important to note that this is not the only portfolio I have. It is just the most exciting because this is where I put all of my growth stock investments. And this is really what the YouTube channel follows is this portfolio. This stock adds to my clean energy exposure in this portfolio as we enter the Joe Biden presidency. And I personally believe that this company has tremendous upside, not only because clean energy is going to be heavily pushed in the new administration, but also other reasons. Even under the Trump administration, clean energy, electric vehicle stocks were shooting higher and higher. You would be hard pressed to find today anybody that denied the fact that clean energy and electric vehicles is the future and they're both going to be more in demand as time goes on. My private Discord server actually got to know the exact moment I bought shares of this company. So if you guys want access to that members-only Discord server, my buy and sell alerts, members-only live streams, discounts on merchandise, anything and everything, hit the join button down below. It's right next to the subscribe button. We have so much fun in the Discord server, and I'd love to have even more of you guys join it. One last note before we dive deep into this company is I am not a financial advisor. These are my own opinions. This is my own investment and I'm investing to make a profit just like you guys. I am just a retail investor. So don't put blind faith in what I'm investing in. In fact, don't put blind faith in any investment if you guys don't know what that investment is all about. I understand that nowadays watching YouTube videos is borderline doing your own due diligence, but please at least read through the company's investor presentation and listen to the most recent conference call before you invest in a company. And lastly, my investment strategy is to invest for the long term with hopes for short term gains. When I say that, I've had like 745% year to date return on my portfolio, which is insane. And that is a lot of money and a lot of gains in a short time span. But because I have that longer horizon mindset, I don't get frustrated when the markets have a quick downturn like they just had. So with me being up 750% or whatever it is right now, you probably know I have a pretty strong track record. Now, for those of you guys that are new to my channel and watching a video of mine for the first time, I have a very strong track record on my YouTube channel. Ever since I started it in late April, I have had winning pick after winning pick after winning pick to name them off. I bought Workhorse originally at $2.84. Today, that's like $22 and at one point was at $30. Next, I bought CleanSpark at $4.63. That went all the way up to around $15 and now is right around $10. Then I bought Ride or Lordstown Motors for $11.45. That one went up to $30 and now is hovering around $27.28. Then next, I bought Lancadia Holdings, ticker symbol LCA, or Golden Nugget Online Gaming for around $12 per share. It rose all the way up to about $18 a share, and today we're sitting right around $15 a share. And then, most recently, I bought Flux Power at $5 per share. Now, this stock went all the way up to around $12 a share, and right now it's hovering around $8 per share. So again, I haven't had a losing pick on this YouTube channel. My track record is on the line in this video, which is why whenever I make a new stock pick on my channel, it's kind of a big deal. 
So those of you that are new here may be wondering, why the heck does anybody care when this guy makes a new stock pick? But that's the reason why, because I've had such success. Now, who knows if that's going to continue? I sure hope it does, but let's get into the video now. So I've gotten this far into the video without spilling the beans on what company I bought last Friday, but now we are going to spill the beans. I bought SBE for $16.08 last Friday. Now, if we look on the screen to my left and behind me, you can see that I've already seen ridiculous return on this investment. And that is in part thanks to the Joe Biden presidency and the fact that he keeps mentioning an EV charging network over and over and over again. Now, if you guys are not familiar with what a SPAC play is, I would be surprised, but I'll leave a link down in the description below that goes into more detail. But basically what it is, is it is a blank check company that doesn't have anything but cash. And they are looking for a company to acquire and to bring to the public markets. So SBE or Switchback Energy is reverse merging with ChargePoint. And ChargePoint is the focal point of this video. Now, SPAC plays lately, after they have completed the merger, have really kind of tanked in value. If we look at Hylion or Lordstown Motor, ticker symbol RIDE's stock chart, after that reverse merge took place and they were officially publicly traded, the stock price kind of tanked. But there's a reason why I don't think that's going to happen with ChargePoint and SBE, and I'll get to that later in the video, so stay tuned for that. Now, you may be wondering, why ChargePoint? Why an EV charging company? And I got to thinking, I own the EV manufacturers in Workhorse and Lordstown. I own a battery manufacturer in Flux Power. And I own a microgrid company that possesses the communications protocol that all EV charging networks need to be able to communicate with the Internet of Things. Now, in all of that, that was kind of a mess. What I realized was missing was an EV charging network in my portfolio. And especially going into this Joe Biden presidency, whether you like it or not, he is very pro clean energy and he is very pro electric vehicle, which is why I'm positioning this growth portfolio around clean energy stocks going into 2021. So I realized I was missing the last piece of that puzzle in owning an EV charging company. And the reason I started looking at ChargePoint in particular is actually through my investment in RIDE or Lordstown Motors. I saw in the Lordstown Motors investor presentation that ChargePoint was a partner of Lordstown meaning that their chargers are compatible with the Lordstown Endurance. And if you guys aren't aware, I actually purchased a Lordstown Endurance, and I'm going to get that vehicle delivered to me probably in early 2022. So now I'm sitting here, I need an EV charging company, and I also need an EV charger for myself at home. Now I went straight to ChargePoint because of their connection with Lordstown and realized that they were going public very, very soon. And I've said it many times on my channel, but to find a successful investment in an emerging industry, so we're talking speculative plays here, you need to find a company that either has a niche or a competitive advantage in their industry and or the company has a head start on its competition and it has a good product or service. Now, what I realized quickly was ChargePoint meets all of that criteria that I look for. They are already the leaders in this industry by far. ChargePoint has that early head start on its competition. It's already the established leader in the United States of America, and it's expanding overseas in countries like Canada and Mexico. If we look at this article by Robotics and AutomationNews.com, we can see that ChargePoint is the largest EV charging network company in the entire world. And in fact, in 2017, ChargePoint themselves took over all 10,000 charging networks that General Electric or GE owned. All 10,000 of those charging networks got added to their already 35,000 network strong portfolio. And today, ChargePoint has said that they own around 60,000 charging stations, which is insane to think about. And since they are already the established leader in the United States of America, they can continue to expand their reach inside of the country very easily because they have such a pipeline of customers. In fact, I think the statistic is around 62% of the top 50 fortune companies in the world use ChargePoint's products or services. Now, if 62% of the biggest companies in the world are trusting ChargePoint's products and services, who out there would not trust their products or services, which is why I really started to get bullish on this company. 
Because, like I already mentioned, they can continue to expand in the United States of America, but they can also start to expand overseas like they have been doing in Canada and Mexico. Now, to really convince yourself that this is going to be a good investment, you have to believe that the future is in clean energy and electric vehicles. Now, I'm going to throw some statistics at you. In 2019, only 2.9% of new vehicle sales were of electric vehicles. However, by the year 2030, that 2.9% of the total purchases is going to turn into around 30% of all new car purchases being electric. So that in itself is telling you that the future of electric vehicles is real and it's coming upon us. And when you have such demand for electric vehicles going forward, what else do you need? You need an EV charging infrastructure, which is what ChargePoint is focused on. And in fact, with all that increasing demand, it's forecasted that almost $200 billion is going to be invested into EV infrastructure over the next 10 years. Now, I'm getting a lot of this information from ChargePoint's investor presentation. I'll leave a link to this down in the description below if you guys want to read through this. I highly recommend it. Now, for those of you that know my investment philosophy, you know that I love these companies that have over 50% CAGR projected over the next 5 to 10 years. CAGR means compounded annual growth rate. So, when I'm looking at CAGR, I'm looking at revenues. And as we can see on ChargePoint's investor presentation, they project 60% CAGR from 2021 to 2026. So that's over the next five to six years. They're going to be growing revenues at 60% compounded annually. That is incredible growth. And to provide evidence, they even included that in 2019, they grew their revenues at 60%. So now you may be wondering why I chose ChargePoint over its competitors like Blink Charging or Pola Power. And I'm going to get into that. Like I already mentioned, like 62% of the top 50 fortune companies in the world use ChargePoint. And as I've already mentioned again, if they trust ChargePoint's products and services, who doesn't? The addressable market is almost unquantifiable. However, another thing that I really like about ChargePoint over its competitors is they seem to be a lot more focused on the software and services side of things more than Blink Charging or Pola Power is. Why I like this formula so much is because the software and services side of a business model brings reoccurring subscription-based revenue. And the hardware side of the business segment really just gets the customer in the door, but the end game is to get them using the software and services to get that predictable revenue and establish free cash flow. Another thing I'm not too fond about with Blink Charging in particular is they have horrible customer reviews online. Now I get it. Nobody goes online to write a positive customer review. Most of the time, when people write a review, they are mad about a product and they have an agenda to go write a review on it. However, they seem to have a higher percentage of bad reviews than ChargePoint, for example. In addition to this, in Blink Charging's most recent conference call, they talked about getting revenues from each single charge that really no other EV charging company could even come close to matching. And the reason that makes me worried is because they have a history of fraud accusations against them. So in a speculative industry, I'm not going to be going after a speculative risky stock like that. I'm going to be going with a stock that seems to be less risky, but has tremendous upside like charge point. And another thing is I'd rather go with the established leader in this growing industry because they already have that head start and they can continue to expand on that head start and really take over the entire market. And lastly, I really like charge points leadership team. The CEO, Pascal Romano, seems like a great leader, a great CEO, and somebody that I really trust with my money. And even the executives behind CEO Pascal Romano have tremendous experience in the field, whether that's with clean energy companies, Apple, Intuit, Microsoft, Neo, you name it. Their executive team is unparalleled, as it says on this slideshow. So lastly, you may be wondering, why did I choose now to buy into this stock? Well, that's really a pretty easy answer. As we see on this slide, it has a $2.4 billion enterprise value, which means that the company ChargePoint is valued at $2.4 billion. I think that is tremendously low when you consider the growth that this company is projecting to see. 
And I would not be surprised at all if their projections are very conservative in comparison to a lot of other companies that overpromise and underdeliver. I prefer companies that underpromise and overdeliver because it adds excitement and keeps you interested in the company because it makes you think and makes you know that they are continuing to excel and beat their expectations. And as I've said earlier in the video, I really like companies that are growing revenues like crazy. This year, they only had $135 million in revenue. However, by the year 2026, they expect that number to rise to over $2 billion. That revenue growth rate is insane. And I am very, very happy to put my money into this company because I know that eventually they're going to break even and then they're going to become profitable. And then my investment is going to be making me a lot of money. Now, earlier in the video, I said I was not concerned about SBE tanking after the merger goes through like lots of SPACs have lately. And the reason for that is the pipe percentage of the ownership of the combined company is only 7.4%. Now, if we compare that to Lordstown, for example, we can see that their pipe investment accounts for 30% of the pro forma ownership. And what happens is a lot of these pipe investors sell out of their shares when the company goes public because the stock price rises and they want to get their money back and a profit along with it. And then for further evidence, if we look at Hylion, for example, we can see that their private placement investors, which is pipe investors, account for 20% of the post money ownership. So with SBE or ChargePoint, their pipe investors account for far less percentage of the post money ownership than Hylion or Lordstown do. And both Hylion and Lordstown saw a downturn in their share price after the merger was complete. So with that, guys, I hope you really enjoyed this video. I'm glad to be making these videos. I really have a passion for this. And I need to thank all of you for your support of my channel. It's been insane. I'm a 19-year-old. I'm extremely blessed with everything I have, including my viewership and subscribers. But if you guys are new or returning and not yet subscribed, hit the subscribe button down below. Also consider joining Rex Nation, which gets you access to the private members-only Discord server by hitting the join button, which is located right next to the subscribe button. Also, if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like down below and comment below how many shares and at what price you own SBE at. And with that, guys, have a great rest of your day. I'm going to get through these college finals, and I will be back with a brand new video. Peace out.